What's up, Lisa and team um, from the Massive Momentum Challenge, day five material. Um, you asked us to talk a little about what our biggest takeaways from the challenge have been uh, and anything else we feel comfortable with. So first of all, thank you, Lisa. Um, and I'm glad to see so many people jumped on to participate in this event. And uh, I think no matter what your level is, no matter what you're doing, whether you're beginning in the middle or been doing it for a while, um, this type of uh, process is, is key and relevant to development, uh, not only personal development, but development for your ambitions, your goals, dreams, business, what have you. Um, you know, and, and I remember uh, I learned a valuable lesson long ago um, and it was just involves a quick story. So, and, and this dude is not my hero or anything. It's just, uh, something that I remembered. Um, but, uh, it was supposedly Christopher Columbus was being questioned for his ability to lead an armada on, uh, his, you know, his exploits, if you will. And, um, in, in the questioning of that, it was very, he was very close to being overthrown, um, a mutiny, if you will. And, uh, you know, there were captains and people and admirals saying, you know, I know more than you. I've done this more than you. I've, uh, I've, I have, you know, much more experience and qualifications. Why are you blah, blah, blah. So he took an egg and, uh, he put it on the table and he said, um, if you can balance this egg, on this table in such a way that it doesn't fall off the table you can lead this armada and um, the only rule is you can't use anything it's just the egg on the table uh, so needless to say they spent uh, a long time uh, trying to strategize how to do this you know failed attempts um, back and forth and finally after a while someone exclaimed it was impossible it can't be done and um, the team of people who, you know, were trying to all agree. This was, he had asked them to do something impossible. And he said, well, if I show you how it's done, um, then I'm the one who's leading this team. And so they said, yes. So uh, he took the table or he took the egg and he smashed it on the table and uh, tilted it and the egg did not roll off the table. And, and uh, so, of course, people were like, oh, you know, you tricked us or... You know, you didn't tell us that, blah, blah, blah. And um, I guess Christopher Columbus said something to the effect that um, it's, I don't need to know more than you. I just need to be able to think differently uh, than the rest of you to be successful at this and moved on. Uh, what I've learned from that is that um, when you're open-minded enough, you can learn from anyone. Um, anyone can have something to contribute or to uh, add to a project or a perspective, um, no matter what you're dealing with. And so um, just hats off to you um, for taking leadership on this um, event and and providing all of us who are at a different levels um, lots of love and a way to uh, a, a way to just be mindful and focus on what our careers are. So that's that's kudos to you. Um, my biggest takeaway was was this, and it's been something that's been on my mind, and I think it just helped formalize and crystallize it during this process. It is um, that you can never give up on your dreams, especially when you've committed to that dream, just because it seems like something more attractive has come along. I think that um, when you have focus and you have ambition and you have motivation and you have open-mindedness with that, I believe anything is possible. I, I'm on this challenge uh, in a part because, um, you know, I'm trying to recommit myself to the path that I set for myself back in March. And, um, you know, I, I had taken some certain steps to, to be fully self-employed, doing what I love to do, and I uh, was well on my way. And of course, the universe responded by opening doors and bringing random people across my path who were just the right person that I needed to get you know, from one place to another uh, with my project. And I mean, it was just an amazing experience just to watch the universe respond to my commitment. And then of course, uh, I had an unforeseen event where uh, another job opportunity came my way that sounded great. And um, I, I, you know, in hindsight now, uh, made the wrong decision, you know. And in, in thought, what I was thinking and reflecting on this situation 
is that while I thought I had conquered all my fears, I still had reservations. And uh, that's not the same thing as conquering your fears. You know, I think fears is emotional reservations or cognitive. And so I've, I've been uh, good at overcoming um, a lot of the emotional uh, borders, boundaries, barriers, whatever it is that I've, I've had to face down over my life. But like uh, a lot of us, you know, especially those of us who are overachievers, um, our mind never shuts off. And so uh, although I was 100% uh, committed, uh, I hadn't. I hadn't processed those reservations well enough so that when I was tested, um, it, it proved, you know, to be the fact that I didn't pass the test. But as I said on day one, I learned a valuable lesson. And so I'm here today to say to myself more than anyone um, that I am committing, uh, recommitting myself back to my path, but not in the same way. I have a renewed insight that while I'm ready to take that leap of faith, um, I'm also ready to challenge those reservations that I have. Um, I'll never be put in a situation again, as long as I can help it, where I second guess what I know is right in my heart for me. And um, I wanna say thank you, Lisa, uh, for that. And, uh, and even if I don't win the challenge, uh, I certainly won a valuable amount of um, of shared experience here where we all are facing an innate struggle to overcome ourselves. And for that, I thank you. Good luck to everyone out there.